good day collective this is a general work your light message remember to take what resonates leave what does not personal readings are available the link is in the description box don't forget to like share and subscribe if you're okay with my healing vibes okay what is the current present message for my light workers Someone's uh, grandmother or collectively grandmother. Just know the tower has fallen, okay? Uh, I feel like some of you had a plan and you realized that wasn't God's plan for your life. So now you're no longer clinging on to what you thought was the plan for your life, which is good. Remember that deep healing requires that heart space to really crack open for light to get into there. And so the things that you may feel are dark or causing dark memories to resurface. Remember it's happening for you to go through that deep healing on a cellular level. So it's happening for you and not to you. It happened... For you and not to you no matter how dark it seems okay what's the message for my light workers we have share your voice but it almost came out in reverse but we're gonna take it in the upright share your voice light workers come out of the cave persecution an expression express yourself speak to those who can hear you there has never been a better time in history than right now to rise up speak your truth and share your soul's voice if you feel fearful know that you are not alone and that the world needs your unique tone in order to harmonize as we rise up and share our song we make it easier for the next person to do the same so somebody didn't want you to unlock a piece of you, light workers, and now you know how powerful your voice is on this current, like on this planet, basically. Uh, mm -hmm. If you've kept your soul's voice silence or held back, chanting or singing could be truly life changing for you. As we shed the layers of our personality and start letting our unique soul speak through us, we discover that we actually have a very clear message that longs to be shared. And the more we speak it, the clearer it gets. So what's the lesson? What's the lesson for my light workers for this reading? What's the lesson? Please and thank you. And let's do three cards. Past lesson, present lesson, near future lesson. Remember the energy of the near future um, can change based on your choices and decisions. Past lesson, recent past lesson for my light workers. Recent past lesson from my light workers, privilege lady. We go call that the divine feminine energy. A lesson about real divine feminine was the recent past lesson, light workers. And expectations, the expectations thereof. I feel like somebody is realizing since they were about 16 years old. They've been following a lot of, um, they were following a sisterhood that was all about being in a household with a mature man. That's a mindset. 
and I just want to say collectively it's considered low vibrational because it's codependency a low vibrational feminine energy that's been trying to do spell work on one of us if not all of us she's been trying to like manifest money and expecting income but it's go get nothing but poverty for some of y'all y'all already noticed some people losing money and you realize oh they learning a the lesson they're receiving persecution pathway of judgment what's the present lesson judgment despair and toil and labor okay so the present lesson y'all how you make money of course it's judgment it's some energies that are in despair because they do get paid to do spell work but doing spell work on how like nobody should be paying to do spell work on anyone if that makes sense okay it's it's more so of um, people were getting paid to do that to take care of their households and etc presently those people are going to be in judgment it's going to be groups of ladies in despair because the words that they've been using spells that's been being cast incantations that's been being sung now this actually goes for me and women but light workers i feel like this is more about feminine energy because when it comes to this um inner temple devotion tuning into the portal of the heart i don't want to get into gender roles because that's not what it's about so matter of fact put it to you like this if you feel like you're under judgment because of your pursuit of happiness includes money when you are feeling low regretful bad things happening missing opportunities you feel persecuted and you're wanting to express yourself don't express that low vibrational energy talk about how you're going to change it lumeria energy creating heaven on earth is already happening akasha your guidance is already divinely guided break the chain because that's what we're doing ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future light workers so everybody at this point should be grounded while watching this video and understand we're in the age of light this is part of the great gathering welcome to the awakening which is the new way of being integration remember it's happening for you and not to you so transformation energy it's gonna be death and rebirth of finances if you're low vibrational and you have not been doing weird things and you know you can heal and break the trauma and curses on your finances regarding your finances love life just in general overall now is the time that it's go it's really you got to speak up on how you're healing and it got to be high vibrational or else you're not or else this And what do my light workers need to know about the near future? <clears throat> Remember, this is about lessons. Distant horizons, but in reverse. Not thinking too far ahead. So the universe says they focus on this present energy. Think about... I guess some lies that either you listen to or possibly share. That's another thing too, light workers. Be conscientious of the information that you that you share, especially if it's stolen. It's a feminine energy that's been stealing energy for a while now as an occupation, and this could very well be a singer, and they about to either lose their voice or they gonna have to express why they were doing what they were doing. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and clarify for my light workers. Going to calmer waters. So, to my ladies, privileged ladies, expectation. What can my privileged ladies expect? My privileged lady and privileged men, what can they expect? What's this expectation energy? And this is more so expectation of yourself as you use your discernment. Five of Wands, internal battles, drama, chaos, conflict. 
that also actually in a high vibrational energy represents athleticism, meaning athletics. So ladies, start working out. The universe is expecting you to work out, babe. Lover's energy, okay? I say that with love. I didn't say lose weight. I didn't say tone. I simply said exercise. Like 10 minutes a day for five days a week is sufficient for the heart, okay? Privileged lady and privileged man energy, light workers. What needs to be known about the privileged lady energy? Someone's stuck in hangman. You have the emperor and the three of swords. Could be a masculine energy, Libra, Aries energy. Could be more than one person, to be honest with you. It's energies that are feeling heartbroken. Someone is expecting to even maybe lose a father figure. A really bad argument you got the queen of pentacles could be a mom or an older mom with the page of pentacles um capricorn towards virgo energy one of you can expect some type of drama conflict seven of wands could even be a physical altercation with a masculine energy make sure you share your voice okay Especially if that already happened, because this is the past energy, for real, for real. <clears throat> Some of y'all, maybe y'all already expected drama and conflict, like a breakup with a masculine energy. <coughs> you got high priestess right here. Like I said, just start sharing healing, like how you healing. Magician right here. If you want to share spells and what have you do healing spells not spells on people but remember you can't be out here trying to get patron for healing resources if you are not healed or healing seven of swords that's a lie queen of swords somebody done got caught in a lie and it's not going nowhere it's because they're under judgment whatever plan they thought they could get out of Somebody's about to express something to them that there is no coming back. What's the adjudication energy? We have high priestess. Somebody knows intuitively that they're not going to be able to get away from a judge as well. A feminine energy could like already have something to do with a domestic violence or restraining order court case as well. You have the five of swords, manipulation of some sort, eight of cups. So if somebody tried to pay for manipulation on a court case, that high priestess is no longer about to be part of that situation. Could have already expressed that with the king of swords and shared that voice. So somebody that was trying to hide in the cave is going to have to come out. The devil. Hmm. Nine of wands, psychotic. Three of pentacles. individuals that did team up with low vibrational energies and forces because they did have power and money they know they're going to be going under judgment eight of swords they're going to be expressing how they're in spiritual jail so y'all don't take on nobody else's karma king of wands even if he handsome even if she's beautiful do not take on nobody else's karma ace of swords in reverse if you know this person is getting karma these people are getting karma for being liars light workers you have to let them go through that and when you are feeling in this despair energy that's when it's time for you to start putting in your healing work you got the two of cups with the full card take a leap of faith to choose love of god instead of toxic bonding lustful bonding choose healthy connections and some of y'all really as light workers know y'all connections are not healthy and you really are going to be getting judgment for someone that you choose to share your waters with nurture queen of cups so this also could be like dealing with a female and female relationship as well <clears throat> um mm, someone's gonna have to tell the truth 
a young air sign is not about to be able to take it no more. They go, they have to speak up about spell work, light workers. What's the toil and labor? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy for sure. Aries as well. We have Queen of Wands right here. I feel like y'all need to be confident in the same the same way people are confident in negative spell work and negative magic even if that's just lying cheating stealing deceiving and all of that type of stuff you need to be just as confident in the power of being kind the power of practicing patience mindfulness stillness that's what high priestesses do If you know you're low vibrational for doing spell work, love spells, and love magic because you wanted to take a leap of faith towards a masculine energy and you felt like it was competition and you just felt like one love spell would just make it, you know, whatever, that wasn't the right pathway for you to go. Or if you allowed yourself to get paid to do that. Yeah, five of pentacles. You realize you, that was, that was some broke hoe shit or broke bum nigga shit. Distant horizons in reverse, though. What does my light workers need to? It says five of cups, nine of pentacles in reverse, and the knight of. If those that remain uninspired and unmotivated and undetermined are going to basically stay permanently in the five of cups, that's deep depression. That's not anxiety. That's sad. That's lethargic. That's tired. That's don't get up and practice hygiene so you know they're not doing spiritual hygiene. Don't put that on yourself. Ace of Wands with the Six of Cups in reverse. Do not go back and have sex with anybody from your past. Don't go backwards is definitely what I'm picking up for the Distant Horizons in reverse. somebody is unhealthy like physically their money is all jacked up young air sign when i say young i'm talking about like early 20s she he moves as a knight but they think they're a queen because they know how to steal and balance checkbooks and money using magic that doesn't make you a queen if anything, you're just always going to be in reverse and broke. Light workers. It's a lot of exposure coming out about spell work in places of employment, people's reputations. Remember I said about the, the tower at the very beginning of the reading? Continue to let the ancestors drop the tower. But you guys remember to share your voice. You guys are very gifted Ace of Pentacles. So start practicing some chants. Make up your own. Sing whatever is in your soul is what I'm hearing. Not your ego, but your actual soul. I recommend when you are, if you end up in this five of cups or if you are in this five of cups, do not post like the sadness and depressionness on social media platforms because that feeds negative energy. Write it down in a journal and then burn it in a safe space and container do a burning bowl ritual that way you're burnt literally burning that sadness energy away that's also why you guys need to exercise when you sweat that you know okay all right i'll talk to you guys later bye